Mother Teresa, born on 26th August 1910, left us on 5th September 1997. Mother Teresa said, there are no great things, only small things with great love. Mother Mary Teresa Boyaggio, born Agnes Gonja Boyaggio, I've been in honored in the Catholic Church as Saint Teresa of Calcutta, was an Albanian Indian Roman Catholic nun and missionary. She was born in Skopje, now the capital of North Macedonia, then part of Kosovo, Vilayet of the Ottoman Empire. After living in Skopje for 18 years, she moved to Ireland and then to India where she lived for most part of her life. In 1950, Teresa founded the Missionaries of Charity, a Roman Catholic religious congregation that had over 4,500 nuns and was active in 133 countries in 2012. The congregation manages homes of people who are dying of HIV, AIDS, leprosy and tuberculosis. It also runs soup kitchens, dispensaries, mobile clinics, children's and family counseling programs as well as orphanages and schools. Members take vows of charity, poverty and obedience and also profess a fourth vow to give wholehearted free service to the poorest of the poor. Mother Teresa said, there are no great things, only small things with great love. <laughs> Today is mother's birth anniversary and I thought I will speak. I have spoken about Mother Teresa before. That was my, I think, 2015th or 20, 20th short discourse. Today is the second part of it. There are no great things, only small things with great love. Yet the love is very important. They said love can move mountains. And she had been an example. She had been trying to tell the people through her practical experience. She showed it. India is such a big land, a very spiritual land, a short lady from Albania to come and again and again repeatedly prove love can move mountains, picking up people from the streets. There are no great things. These are not great things. When people went to take her pictures, TV and her, she said, what is this? Move more, more, more. Don't take mine. <laughs> take the work. Work is when take the people. That is very important if you want to show to the world. Why me? There are not great things. The love, the, my work is very important. She concentrated on the work. That work, what she concentrated, created a thousand man warrior, the roar of a thousand man warrior. No martial artist, no greatest fighter really come, will come very close to her kind of a work. All martial artists, all toughest fighters should look into her work. That is what we are looking, not your big muscles, and not your big show of your ta tactics and techniques. That is a time. Now, as you get older, now you have to prove must, your power can be destructive, power can be creative. Take the creative path of serving. There are so many people poor in this land, in this world. So many people are suffering. What is the use of your muscle in your gymnasium, muscle in your, in your dojos, if you cannot go out right into the field, clean the toilets, clean the line, feed the people, give them bath, cloth them, beg for them, beg for a cause. Yes, this is what that small lady, Mother Teresa has done it. She shocked the whole world. She went into the slums. She was a fighter. Yes, she stood her ground. She went, she takes people to the hospital and the doctor said, no, I will not. She, she stood there and fought till they give her medicine. She stood it. If she can win a war, what is stopping you? There are no great things, only small things with great love. Every small thing, but the great love 
will get in, imprinted in every cell of their brain and into you, into their heart, into the people, into the circumstances, into the society. If that is not understood, if she has not come in the form, form of God, I call it by in their culture as Jesus, or in our culture as Krishna, or in the Muslim culture as Allah, any, let it be in any form. She has come in human form. And she could move mountains, she could move oceans. And the only one person called in the White House, the President of the United States of America, pick up was Mother Teresa can make a call 24 bars. Anytime she calls, she can pick it. That was the power. When Mother met a small accident in Calcutta while going to, uh, I think, uh, while going to, I, I forgot, in one of the mountain area. Small as Indira Gandhi made a call immediately to find out how she is. <laughs> she did not hold any big position. She was not a councillor. She was not an MLA MP. She was not a state chief minister, not a prime minister. Just an ordinary, simple lady. When ministers went to her house, she only asked, them, give me, can you give me a help? What do you The transport minister, she asked for a small bus pass free, of course. When they gave the bus pass, she how will I travel alone? Give me two more for my two people. <laughs> I got a flight ticket free. Everything she took it for a cause. She moved the mountains. If she can walk very, that is called walking very, very hard with the love. No great things in that. She, she never felt it was very hard. She felt it is a way of life because she loved God. That God was a target. That God was an idol, was a Jesus Christ or whatever you can call Krishna, you can take, take it. <laughs> but she was able to do it. There are no great things, only small things with great love. The love, so many people who were lying down on the street, she could lift it. Not great things, small things. But she took it with great love. And that great love moved people to give her so much of money, so much of funds. She could now spread it to 133 countries. Small lady. <laughs> With no military might, with no air force, no, no navy, and no army. But she could move an army, the whole world. She moves from one country to another. Presidents, prime ministers stand in line just to greet her, to welcome her, just to give whatever she asks. Even countries which never had a Christian path, even uh, communist countries give her land to run a show. Such was their power. Only on love I'm talking. You must understand. Everybody must understand. Everybody must penetrate. Otherwise you are not absurd. You are seeing. You are just uh, uh, you are becoming a small slave. You can be remote controlled by anybody. You have have you not seen this lady, her work? And if you can't you convert yourself, what is wrong with Calcutta? Calcutta must get involved in that work. Not every time uh, people in India asking for this or that. She never asked. She just moved and people gave. There are no great things. There is no such great things. Doing, don't think. One Only small thing great. For, make sure that you, you can go to the smallest thing, smallest seed to make it grow into a big tree. That love she has shown at least towards the end, lifting the people, bringing them to the house. But make sure she was connected to her, to the spirituality. This is a spiritual line. India is a spiritual line. And she made sure her spirituality was only praying to God and giving them love and cleaning them up and taking care. Nothing more than that. Only smile. Small, small, beautiful talk helps a lot of things. In your house also, please do that in your house. Start doing in your house. Somebody when I ask Mother Teresa, how can I bring peace in this world? She said, oh, very good, very good. Just go back home and please create peace in your house. That means do work in your house. From that small love, you can understand great love. From that great love, you can move mountains and together we can wipe out more things. We can wipe out more pain. We can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. Try to feed one person and you can know you can feed a thousand people. If you um, uh, get your daughter married, make sure another one daughter outside also have to be married. If you have one daughter and one son, you are giving fees for the child for the school, you know, make sure you keep two outside. From there you can understand. If this love you are not understand, then you are 
not a human being. Mother Teresa said there are no great things. Only small things is great love. This is my 147th short disc. <laughs>